Hi, I'm Bob. Welcome to the introductory econometrics course. We will solve the computer exercises for chapter 15, Instrumental Variables Estimation and Two-Stage D-Squares. In the textbook, Introductory Econometrics, a modern approach to the seventh edition by Professor Jeffrey Woodridge. Let's find answers to computer exercise one. We estimate the return to education for men. In part one, in example 15.2, if siblings is used as an instrument for education, the instrumental variable estimate of the return to education is 0 0.122. To convince yourself that using siblings as an IV for education is not the same as just plugging siblings in for education and running an OLS regression. Run the regression of log wage on siblings and explain your findings. The estimated coefficient on siblings is minus 0 0.028, meaning that one more sibling is associated with a 2.8% wage decrease. The relationship is statistically significant at the 1% level. In part 2, the variable birth order is birth order. Explain why education and birth order might be negatively correlated. Regress education on birth order to determine whether there is a statistically significant negative correlation. Parents may invest more in their first child in education than the second child. The regression of education on birth order gives a slope estimate of minus 0 0.28, implying that the second child receives 0 0.28 fewer years of schooling than the first child, and it is a statistically significant negative correlation. In part 3, use birth order as an instrumental variable for education in equation 15.1. Report and interpret the results. We use the command IV regress in Stata to estimate the model by instrumental variables. We should specify the method two stage D squares following the IV regress command. Then we write the outcome variable log wage. We put all the endogenous explanatory variables and the excluded exogenous instrumental variables inside the parentheses. In this case, the only endogenous explanatory variable is education, and the instrumental variable for education is birth order. We can let Stata report the first stage regression with the first option. The instrumental variable's estimation result is as follows. One more year of education is estimated to increase wages by 13.1%, or accurately, 14%. We can compare the estimates for the return to education using OLS and two-stage D-squares in the table.
we find that the estimate is the highest, using the birth order as the instrumental variable among all the three estimates. In part four, suppose that we include the number of siblings as an explanatory variables in the wage equation. This controls for the family background to some extent. Suppose that we want to use birth order as an instrumental variable for education, assuming that the variable siblings is exogenous. The reduced form equation for education is as follows. State and test the identification assumption. The identification assumption is that pi 2 is not equal to 0. We estimate the model by two stage least squares with birth order as an excluded instrumental variable for education. We report the first stage regression or the reduced form equation for education. We find that the estimate for pi 2 is minus 0 0.15, implying that the second child receives 0 0.15 fewer years of schooling than the first child and it is statistically significant at the 1% level. The instrument relevance requirement is satisfied. In part 5, we estimate the equation from part 4 using birth order as an instrumental variable for education and siblings as its own IV. Comment on the standard errors for the beta education had and beta siblings had. The instrumental variables two stage least squares estimation is as follows. One more year of education is estimated to increase wages by 13.7% and it is statistically different from zero at the 10% level. The standard error for education is 0.075. The estimate for the siblings is not statistically significant at any reasonable level. The standard error for the siblings is 0 0.017. The standard errors in the two stage least squares are quite large. In part 6, using the fitted values from part 4, education had compute the correlation between education and siblings. Use this result to explain your findings from part 5. We know that in the two-stage least squares method, the first stage is to regress education on siblings and birth order by ORS and obtain the fit values of education. The second stage is to regress the log wage on siblings and the fit values of education by ORS. If siblings and the fit values of education are highly correlated, the multicollinearity problem occurs. The standard errors are large as a result and the estimates are not precise. We find that the correlation between siblings and the fit values of education is minus 0 0.93. It is a strong negative correlation. That is the reason for large standard errors for the two-stage least squares estimators. Let's solve computer exercise 2. The data include information on the number of children, years of education, age, and religious and economic status variables. In part 1, estimate model by OLS and interpret the estimates. In particular, holding age fixed. What is the estimated effect of another year of education on fertility? If 100 women receive another year of education, how many fewer children are they expected to have? 
The estimated equation by OLS is as follows. Holding age fixed, another year of education is estimated to lower fertility by 0.091 children. In other words, if 100 women receive another year of education, they are expected to have about 9 fewer children. In part 2, the variable first half is a dummy variable equal to 1 if the woman was born during the first 6 months of the year. Assuming that first half is uncorrelated with the error term from part 1, so that it is a reasonable IV candidate for education. Assume that first half is uncorrelated with the error term in the structural equation the instrument exogeneity requirement is satisfied. We need to test the instrument relevance requirement. We regress education on first half, age, and age squared by OLS. The estimate for first half is minus 0 0.852, meaning that the women born in the first six months of the year have 0 0.85 fewer years of education than the women born in the second half of the year on average. Since the estimate is statistically significant at the 1% level and the F statistic is above 10, the first half is a valid instrumental variable for education. In part 3, Estimate the model from part 1 by using first half as an IV for education. Compare the estimated effect of education with the OLS estimate from part 1. We use the IV regress command to estimate the model by two stage least squares. We compare the results in the table. The negative effect of education on fertility is much larger by two stage least squares than by ordinary least squares. The standard errors in the two stage least squares are also larger than those in the ordinary least squares. The 95% confidence interval for the two stage least squares estimate of education is wider than that for the OLS estimate. In part 4, add the binary variables electric, TV, and bicycle to the model and assume these are exogenous. Estimate the equation by OLS and two stage least squares and compare the estimated coefficients on education. Interpret the coefficient on TV and explain why television ownership has a negative effect on fertility. We add the control variables to the model and compare the estimates from OLS and two stage least squares estimation. The effect of education on fertility from two stage least squares doubles that from ordinary least squares. The TV ownership has a significant negative effect on fertility from the 
OLS estimation. It is because the television can be seen as a form of recreation. The two-stage least squares estimate becomes statistically insignificant because the estimate is not reliable. If TV is exogenous, OLS is more appropriate. If TV is endogenous, we should find a valid instrumental variable for it. Thank you so much for watching the video and doing the computer exercises with me. See you tomorrow. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.